Hey there! Were you thinking about learning how to paint with watercolors as your new hobby but one of the things that was always holding you back from starting is the fact that you don't really know what supplies you need and where you can find them? I totally get that. Buying watercolor supplies can be really overwhelming especially when you're just starting out. There are just so many different watercolor paints, brushes and all types of different papers, tons of different brands and when you're just starting out you don't want to spend a ton of money either, right? The good news is that you don't have to break the bank to enjoy painting. There are just a few things you want to keep in mind when buying your supplies. And in this video, I wanted to show you my top three watercolor supplies from each category that I chose for this video to help you make the first step. And at the end of this video, I also share how you can win a signed copy of my new book, No Fail Watercolor. So stay tuned for that. Now, before we dive in, I wanted to say that I'm totally aware that the prices of the supplies might vary depending on the country you're from. Something that is relatively affordable where I am might be super expensive where you are and vice versa. So these are just my suggestions. But I still want to give you a few key points that you can always keep in mind regardless of where you're from. One of the things that beginners usually don't pay much attention to is the paper they're buying. But when it comes to watercolors, Watercolor paper is the foundation of your painting. If you're a beginner and thinking that for now I will use just cheaper paper until I get better, you might not even reach this point because you give up along the way. But the problem with that is it won't be the artistic skills holding you back from achieving the results you desire, but the quality of the paper. That's why the first step is to invest into good quality watercolor paper. The reason why this is important is because if you use super low quality paper, even if you have expensive watercolor paints, the colors will look a lot more pale, the paper will buckle and the painting will dry streaky and blotchy. So you'll constantly have to fight the paper. Low quality watercolor paper also won't be able to handle all the brush strokes and all the moisture so it can start peeling and breaking during the painting process. Good quality watercolor paper on the other hand is not only a lot more durable so you can really take your time refining your artwork layer by layer but it also makes the paint dry evenly while keeping the colors look vibrant and just beautiful in general. So good quality watercolor paper actually helps you to save money to create a better painting and make sure that you're enjoying the learning process. That's why if you're on a budget but still want to enjoy the process without feeling frustrated I would recommend looking into 100% cotton cold pressed watercolor paper. It's usually more expensive but it still doesn't have to break the bank. You can get one big sheet of paper that you can cut into any size you want. For example, one of the best watercolor paper that is made out of 100% cotton is by Arch and you can get one huge sheet of cold pressed watercolor paper that is just about $6 and you just can cut it into multiple smaller pieces so you don't feel super overwhelmed. Or you can buy the watercolor pad version with 12 sheets for about $13 and do the same. You can usually find loose watercolor sheets from different brands and test what you like the best before committing to anything. This is a great way to invest in good quality supplies without breaking the bank. Here are some other watercolor paper that I really enjoy using lately. And again, when you're just starting out, you might feel overwhelmed by a huge white sheet of paper. So you can definitely just divide the paper into smaller sections and start there. And my go-to source for online shopping besides Amazon is Jackson's Art Supplies because I can usually find everything I need and they also ship worldwide as well. Next on the list are watercolors. As a watercolor beginner, you might be super confused when it comes to picking the right paint for yourself because there are just so many different brands from cheap to expensive and you might think just because you are a beginner, you don't want to spend that much money on your supplies, right? 
So in the end, you might buy the first thing that says watercolors on the label and it's cheap, but then get discouraged about the results you're getting once you start painting. And I don't want this happening to you. Super cheap watercolors can look a lot more opaque, chalky, and can behave completely differently compared to higher quality paint. And I often get asked about why your paint doesn't behave the same way as in my tutorials. Now, I don't say you can't enjoy painting with lower quality paint. I'm just saying that if you hit the point where you feel just frustrated and like giving up, it's most likely the watercolor supplies you're using. And sometimes beginners are not aware of that and just quit. And you can avoid that by upgrading your supplies or just start out with good quality paints. I think there is this misconception that some watercolor supplies are just overpriced for no reason. But it's not really true because you do get what you pay for. Higher quality watercolor paint has better ingredients, more pigments and less fillers. So if you really want to learn how to paint with watercolors and get almost obsessed with this medium, you do want to invest in higher quality watercolor paint as well. The good news is that, again, you don't have to go for the most expensive watercolors either. You can already invest just slightly more to upgrade from the chalky cheap paints to higher quality brands. You also don't really need 50 different colors in my opinion when you're just starting out. This will probably make you feel super overwhelmed and confused about what colors to use and in the end you might end up with just muddy results. The good news is that you only need a small set of good watercolors that give you the option to mix a variety of different colors. In reality, you only need about six colors. Two versions of yellow, red and blue and you can mix anything you want. I personally started with a set of student grade watercolors in pens by the brand called Schminke that had about 12 different colors. Having a small set with quality paint will be so much more fun to use in my opinion. And it'll be so much easier for you to learn how to paint with watercolors in a short period of time without feeling overwhelmed, frustrated and feeling like giving up. So if you're afraid of buying more expensive paint, why not try out just a few colors? Here are some of my go-to watercolor brands. You can buy individual pens or tubes and test them out. If you're afraid of wasting your paint in the beginning, you might want to look into pens instead of tubes because I feel like tubes can be a little bit more challenging to use as a beginner. Now, even though I've tested different watercolors and I recommend different brands with different price points, the Schmincke watercolor set is always my go-to set personally. I just like using them. I both use the student and their artist grade watercolors and they both are amazing. I know every artist has their own favorites, but Schmincke has been mine for over 10 years now and counting. Is there a favorite brand that you already have discovered for yourself and really like? Comment down below and let me know. Next on the list are watercolor brushes. And you don't need 20 different brushes either, in my opinion. Having one or two versatile brushes is really enough just to get started because you can always add more if you need to. So instead of spending the same amount of money on 10 brushes that make you feel like you want to throw them out of the window, I'd rather invest that money into one or two amazing brushes that I can use for all my paintings. You want to look into medium-sized round brushes with soft bristles and a fine tip as they're super versatile because you can paint thin and thick strokes. My top three favorites that I picked for this video are Princeton Neptune's Silver Brush Black Velvet and the Casanillo Mop Brush. They have super fine tips so you can paint small details while being able to cover a bigger area with paint. I've been using my Casanillo mop brush and my silver velvet brush for over a year now and they're now my go-to watercolor brushes. The bristles are super soft and they can hold a lot of water. They also have a fine tip. You might need to practice how to create thin lines with a mop brush first, but it's doable. But other than that, they're really great and versatile brushes I can highly recommend. I also always get asked what is the best size for a watercolor brush and which number I would recommend. Now, these numbers are not really universal. As you can see, this mop brush is number two and this is a number six brush. But in general, the sizes between 6 or 10 for a regular round brush is great for medium-sized paintings. 
it's just important that they have a fine tip and that the bristles can hold a lot of water. And depending on the materials and the better the quality, the more water they in paint they usually can hold. So all in all, you can already create a set of supplies for yourself between $25 to around $50 depending on what items you choose. So you have different options. Now I know there are a ton of different watercolor supplies out there. This was just one of my suggestions for the supplies you can use when you're a beginner. You can always pick what works best for you and have fun with it. I think every artist has their own favorite, so it's rather a personal thing at the end of the day. And you always evolve and test out new things that you might like in the end, so that's totally okay. Don't feel like you need to pick the perfect supplies for you because you have to stick to them forever or something. Just choose something and start from there. You can always test out more supplies as you get more confident and want to explore new things. Now, if you're someone who is addicted to buying watercolor supplies as actually painting or just need some additional painting ideas to actually get started, I have a solution for you because I'm giving away five signed copies of my new book, No Fail Watercolor. It has over 25 projects and even more resources that you can access if you have the book. All you have to do is check out the link in the description box down below and then follow the link. There you'll find all the information and how to join the giveaway. And I promise it's very simple to enter. In my next video, we are going to talk about how to actually get back into a painting now that you know what you get or if you already have all the supplies you need. In the meantime, don't forget to join the giveaway. You can find a link in the description box down below. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!